Alright, what's going on guys? It's Shed. Back here over on some more Modern Warfare 3. I haven't even looked at these events. We have a stone sloth. Nice. Gotta do all this stuff for what? There's a mastery thing right here. We get this. Oh, it glows. Wait, this is actually cool. Is it just a camo or is it just... Okay, it's just a blueprint for the WSP swarm. It's a shame that it's not an actual like camo. It says mastery, but that doesn't mean mastery camo. I think I'm gonna stick to uh, doing these challenges for now. So I ended up doing the week one challenge. Now I'm gonna do these uh, week two challenges to go and just, you know, stay on top of this whole thing so I can go and unlock this camo at the end after the eight weeks are up. I was super behind last time. And realistically, I don't have to do them every single week, like right off rip. Because really, you could just complete all of them, everything that you need to in a couple hours but so i have to do a bunch of shotgun related uh kills suppress scope shotgun kills long shots with the kv broadside quick scope kills shortly after sprinting with recommended shotgun and clean kills with shotgun so i'm gonna go into the small playlist mode with a scope suppressed sniper rifle quick scope people and uh yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, there's a new skin. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. This shit right here. There is a guy that has been telling me to play this game ever since it's come out. It came out August last year, and he is still telling me to play it. I have played it. I just didn't make a bunch of videos on it. Way too late now. This is the thing that I'm rolling with here. Uh, I've got the 25 shell drum. Probably don't need that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off for now. Let's uh, go with the bolt. A laser on there. Gonna quick scope with it, I guess. Hopefully, I can just get shipment and we'll be done with it. I ain't using no shotgun on this map. Shit, I am. I saw that there was this. Uh, skin that they ended up taking from uh, World War II. It was the uh, Golden Cheetah camo. Oh man, that ADS speed is brutal. Apparently you have to spend like uh, near $100 or like $80, $60, something like that. There's like five $20 bundles that you need to buy in order to unlock it. And the skin isn't even like that crazy. I mean, it looks nice, but $100 nice? Fuck no. I mean, this build is bad, but it's not that bad. I think you have to buy all of the Godzilla bundles or something, and then you can unlock it, which is crazy. Also, considering that it's not that crazy of a camo to even make it worth it. To be honest, I don't know what a $100 camo would even look like. I don't know what it would have to do. It probably would have to, like, transform and be, like, reactive, along with animated, along with some other wild shit. I'm thinking something along the lines of, like, how Black Ops 4 Dark Matter was or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. And the thing is, like, half the people that would actually spend that money are probably not even gonna see all of the stages of it. Oh, also, speaking of camos, apparently... Apparently, there is some sort of uh, reward being worked on by Sledgehammer. They're saying that there is some sort of reward, a Grand Mastery reward or something like that for people that have actually gotten the camos, the zombies and the multiplayer shit. Okay, I just completed three of the challenges already. I just need one more quick scope and then I'm done with the week. Oh, I've completed all five. Never mind. There's the last quick scope. I really like that you can actually track the challenges now so much better. All right, there we go. Got all the challenges. Don't need to do this anymore. I'm out of here. Finished all those in one game. Boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. They are apparently working on a reward. A Grand Mastery camo reward is coming. Now, here's the thing. They're saying that it's a reward for unlocking camos. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a special camo for people that did both. It could be a charm. It could be, honestly, something really disappointing, like a spray or some weird shit. Confirmed by Sledgehammer Games, a special unlock... A special unlock, not a special camo, a special unlock is being worked on for those who have both the multiplayer and the zombies mastery camo. It could be the camo mixing feature. I actually really like the sound of that. That would be really cool and actually make it worth it. Another thing is that I really hope that if Sledgehammer actually does some sort of reward like that for it, I really hope that Treyarch does a better job with their camo grind. Their last game was uh, Cold War. And if you guys remember the Cold War grind, I enjoyed Cold War, don't get me wrong. This isn't talking bad about the game itself, but the camo grind when everybody was initially doing it right on release because that's when everyone does it. People are trying to get it, they race against the clock in order to try to unlock it before Warzone and all this other stuff. That's usually how the whole thing goes. They had some challenges that were very, very annoying. Like, uh, for example, uh, kills behind cover. That doesn't sound so bad when you say it out loud. And it's not so hard if you go and try it yourself now to go and get kills behind cover. But again, that is a challenge that completely depends on what your opponent does, not what you do. So basically, the whole thing ended up being this entire thing where you try to set up in a certain location and then hope that somebody ends up running into or behind a certain piece of cover that you can kill them on immediately. I'm trying to get the Grand Mastery Charm for multiplayer real quick. I mean, if I'm bored enough, I'll definitely do the Zombies one too. I mean, fuck it. I probably won't do the Zombies one though. I highly doubt that. These dudes playing like it's ranked. I'm just doing camo challenges. Jev really trying out here, I guess. 
If I were to go actually go and do that challenge, it's absolutely not worth it, by the way. I've seen the reward for it. It's still... What's crazy is they have a Grand Mastery reward that's, like, rusted. It's horrible. At least make it, like, kind of clean, but then, like, bloody and, like, animated or something. Like, it'll just constantly have, like, a blood drip or something coming off of it. I don't know. Some zombies-related shit. Instead, they just make it look old and beat up. Like, some kind of post-apocalyptic type shit. It's just zombies. All that sweaty and they still lost. Yeah, man. We lost as a team. But I won as a player. You struggled to go even. Are you winning? I mean, honestly, though, what could the reward even be? They must know that there's a very, very small percentage of people that go for this Grand Mastery Charm stuff. Now, again, I do love that this grind is in the game. I love that there's just this extra depth in there. I love that. I don't dislike it, but they must know and they must see that, you know, a lot of people don't go and unlock this kind of stuff. They don't go for it specifically. Maybe they get, you know, a charm for the weapon that they like, and that's pretty much it. They don't really have any reason to think that a, a charm is something that will get people to care about unlocking two camos. But overall, it's still a good incentive, right? I feel like camo mixing could definitely be the thing that would make people want to go and unlock. Maybe not the charms, but at least the two camos. Ready. Please buff EOD, man. It's not enough. I should be able to tank at least like two explosives. One explosive clamp is not enough. Look at this. He's shooting rockets in here. I really do hope that it's the camo mixing thing. We've been hearing about the camo mixing shit for a really long time. It keeps saying that I have a tracker on me. I don't understand. Remove tracker. What? I don't have anything on me. Hold to remove tracker. I'm spawning in with the tracker on. It's gotta be a visual bug. I guess leaving the game will fix it? I, I don't understand what was happening there. It has to be a good reward. It doesn't make sense for it to be a shitty reward at the end. But at the same time, you have to think about it from their perspective. Why would they make something so good but so little people will be able to get to it. But also on the opposite side of that coin, why would you even go and make something shitty for a lot of work? That's been their usual approach. Or if you go out of your way to go and unlock, for example, unlocking Obsidian for every single weapon in Modern Warfare 2019. I did that. There was no reward at the end. And even if there was, I highly doubt that it would be something worth it. Like, I don't know, a brand new exclusive camo for somebody that did that shit because it doesn't make sense for them to make it because no one's gonna do it. I really do hope it's a camo mixing thing. I have a feeling it would be pretty Pretty bugged or something though. Dude, I've been seeing people complain about the amount of people that are using the Moors now. Some are even claiming that like it's super overpowered or whatever. I mean, it's good, but I don't think overpowered is the right word. The longbow was absolutely better than the Moors. Oh man, this map is crazy good. What the fuck? I shouldn't even peek that ever. Never gonna peek that side ever again. I'm just gonna keep smoking it repeatedly. If the camo mixing does become a thing, is it just a thing where you just pick two different camos and by default it just like selects which part of the gun is gonna have which camo on it? Or do you pick it yourself? Is it like a preset? Uh, what do you do? I have a feeling that could get real buggy and weird, but Sledgehammer's actually been doing really good with all their updates and shit, so. We've been seeing and hearing about this feature for a long time and also, like not to mention, when we had the initial blog, I think this was like last year, right? It was that one picture that that went around that was like multiple camos mixed into each other and i'm pretty sure that was on modern warfare 2 not modern warfare 3 but then in a recent trailer on modern warfare 3 you can see that somebody has a gun that has interstellar on the base of the weapon but then it actually has borealis accents and stuff on the rest of the weapon you can probably find a picture of it somewhere i have a feeling it'll be some kind of uh, preset thing i highly doubt it'll be a thing where oh i want to have this camo in this specific spot on the gun and then this one on this one i, I doubt that also people were telling me that this grow house map right here is a remake of a Vanguard map. They're like, dude, I'm surprised you didn't recognize this map. It's, uh, I, I forget the name of the map that they even said. Is it Sphere? That might be wrong. Somebody tweeted at me and said that it was. I was like, oh yeah, it is. Here's the thing. I barely played anything except Das House and whatever small map there was over on Vanguard. So I don't really remember. Das House is just that good. I did a little test run last night over on Elden Ring for, for a rune level one uh, playthrough. And I honestly, I think I could do it. I really do think I could do it. I didn't realize that the, uh, the Zweihander, 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 I'm definitely butchering however you say that. But if I do a series on that. I saw that somebody said that that sword, this Vihander, actually has a very, very similar moveset to the Greatsword and has the same reach as the Guts Greatsword. So it'll be very familiar for me because there are only so many weapons that you can use in a rune level one run. And this was about the closest to it. There is a troll Greatsword, but it's not nearly as long. And after looking at the moveset, I'm kind of, eh. Also, ashes that you could put on there. The only rule that I'll go by on that whole level one run is that I start out as Wretch, because that's true level one. Every single stat you have is just a 10. I go and do my little run. I go and pick up a bunch of golden seeds and my flask upgrade grades, all that stuff, get the sword, and then maybe try to find some kind of Ash of War that will work on it. I was thinking Lion's Claw, that would probably be pretty cool, but I have an issue getting Lion's Claw if I can't kill the actual lion that drops the shit, so probably gonna have to pick something else. I just don't know what. I feel like I could definitely beat all of the main bosses with that. I don't know about killing every single boss in the game, like Melania level one, for example, but I can definitely beat all the way up to Radagon, all the way up to the Rata Beast fight in the end. I can definitely kill all of the main bosses. It's the other one 
ones that worry me overall, like Moog and Melania mostly, and maybe a little bit of Placidus Axe. Not gonna lie though, the little test run I was doing, I was having fun. 